life, pre-Westlife, bro? I was a bingo caller. I used to call them, <laughs> that's not a joke, I used to call the numbers at a bingo hall. It was great for meeting chicks. They were all, they're all dead now, but it was, it was at the time great for meeting chicks. It was good, but you know, it's, it's, it's a, it's a and kind of a segue into performance, isn't it? You know, you start off by calling numbers. If you can call the numbers, you can sing the numbers next. So it was a weird job because you have no idea how these old ladies are, they're filthy. You know, but they're not winning. They'd be like, sh they're screaming at me, shake your balls, shake your balls. You know, they, that's wild. So you've covered both ends of the spectrum then, because their grandchildren were then all uh, watching and cheering on Westlife. Yeah, I think it might have flowed into that. I think that definitely, you know, stayed with me, that experience. Um, and it's good, because now most of my fans are pretty much old ladies again, so I've kind of gone full circle, which is pretty good. <laughs> I shouldn't be selling records, I should be selling blue rinse. You're hardcore, these chicks. Yeah, but... Oh, these old Irish ladies are hardcore.